everyone, awesome guy 95 here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. And now, without further ado, let the Android Saga continue, or should I say, the Cell Saga continue or begin here on um, today. Enjoy. I hope you're ready for this, Kami. Ooh, the energy from this thing is incredible. Kami, I assume you know why I'm here. That I do, Piccolo. Though I am Earth's guardian, I stand powerless before the threat to obliterate it. There's nothing more vexing. All right, then you're ready to do this? To become one again? Of course. Though, I am not without my doubts, I'll have you know. After all that's happened, don't tell me you're scared. Well, if I am, would you be capable of alleviating that fear? What? A long time ago, in my ignorance, I allowed evil to take root in my heart. Those who walk the path of darkness are fated to become demons. This was demonstrated by my other half. King Piccolo, her I to repeat the same mistake after our fusion. The resulting catastrophe would far eclipse the android menace. <laughs> Skip to the point, old man. Why do you hesitate? Spit it out. Hmm. Well, your forthright resolve certainly gives me a bit of hope. Very well. Answer me this, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? Oh, come on. Whatever foe stands before us, we will defeat it. It's that simple. I see. Then allow me to ask you one more question. Once we merge, the Dragon Balls will be lost. Well, what of your resolve now? The Dragon Balls aren't an issue. If I fight as I am now, I'll be killed. You'll disappear, and the Dragon Balls disappear too. They're gone either way. So, if we need to send those murder machines to the compactor, we need to take a stand now. I see. Your reasoning is sound. Very well, Piccolo. To one flesh and one spirit we shall return. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. That's right. Earth needs extra power. It seems like I'm the one that's going to provide that. Very well. I will lend my body to you. Uh, call me. I'm going to be the base. Got it. Indeed. I will provide you with nothing more than a power boost and my vast knowledge. Once on the surface, head to Ginger Town. There is a monster there wreaking havoc. You'll learn all the other details once we combine, as you will have access to everything that I know. Got it. Thank you for everything, Mr. Popo. Well, Kami, please, don't die. I am neither Kami nor Piccolo. I am a Namekian who's forgotten his true name. Right, I'm off. Ginger Town. All right, it's Piccolo time. You can win. You feel great. You can do this. Anyway, moving on. Let's go to Ginger Town. Let's go.
This thing that's killing all these people. Who or what could it possibly be? All right, monster. You're in trouble. Decided to show your face, monster? <laughs> <coughs> What's going on? I can sense Goku's energy from this creature. And Vegeta and Frieza's too. What the hell are you? Oh, you don't need to know that. All you need to know is that I'm going to enjoy you as my next meal. Demon King Piccolo. Hmm? How do you know my name? Like I said, there's no need for you to know. Now prepare to be devoured. I see. So you're not gonna talk, huh? You've got the wrong Namekian. Sorry to disappoint. Believe it or not, I think I'm actually kinda glad you rid the town of all of its residents. And why is that? Because now I don't have to hold back. Guess I'll do this the hard way. Just have to beat the answers out of you. You're more than welcome to try. No. Special beam cannon! This'll end it! This'll end it! Look at that. You're not really the terrifying monster I thought you were. Although I still have yet to achieve my perfect form. Perfect form? Special beam cannon! Unleash your inner power! Achieve your perfect form? Indeed. I turn their essence into that energy. And that energy makes me stronger. You <laughs> 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 cannot escape the inevitable. Special Beam Cannon! I 
I came up with a plan in order to get inside that tiny machine. All it took was for me to revert myself back into an egg. Special beam cannon! The inevitable! Damn it! You cannot escape the inevitable! Just what the hell are you? And why do you have Goku and Frieza's energy? I suppose I might as well tell you, seeing as how you'll be dead soon enough. I'm an android, you see, and you can call me by my name. Cell. Dr. Giro created me in a lab on his computer. Huh? Dr. Giro again? Long ago, Dr. Giro gathered the genetic material from the strongest fighters in the world to create me, the ultimate android. But it took too long, so he abandoned the project. Fortunately, his computer picked up where he left off and continued his research. Cells from Goku, Piccolo, Vegeta, and even Frieza and his father were collected when they arrived on this planet using a tiny bee-sized spy robot created by Dr. Giro. The computer already has enough cells to begin its research, but the process is slow, and it will take 24 years to complete. Impossible. We completely destroyed Dr. Giro's laboratory. The computer is located in an underground facility deep beneath his laboratory. You mean it took you three years after arriving here to go from an egg to that? Once I revert to an egg, I must bury myself underground for three years. There my form matures. I see. One final question. I have to know. Why here? Why this time period? Dr. Giro's computer informed me that my evolution will morph two different life forms before I achieve perfection. And those two life forms are Android 17 and 18. What? Unfortunately, despite searching far and wide, I had quite a problem locating those pesky androids. It seems they were nowhere to be found in my era. But in a stroke of luck, I learned that Trunks had a time machine. So I used my magnificent skills and abilities to kill Trunks and steal his time machine. Then I used it to travel here to find the androids. <laughs> But why this point in history? And Trunks had already programmed the time. I just pressed a switch and the machine did the rest. Oh, I think I'm getting it now. Trunks was able to defeat the androids in his future and program the time machine for this time to come and tell us. That's not all the computer told me. It is said the moment I achieve my perfect form, I will acquire a power beyond all comprehension. Thanks for helping me solve this little mystery. But you're not getting that perfect form of yours. Piccolo! <sighs> Trunks, what's he doing here? Ah, he used the time machine. How very clever of him. S 
so this is the guy who attacked all those people in Gingertown? He must be the thing that left the exoskeleton near the time machine. You got that right. I'll fill you in on the details later. First things first, we need to squash this bug. <sighs> now may not be the best time to battle. Very well. But know this. Androids 17 and 18 will be mine. So <laughs> No! He's gone! No! He got away! Damn, I can't get a trace on him. One of the huge power levels that showed up out of nowhere is gone now. I can't sense it, but the other one still remains. What? What is the meaning of this? Piccolo? Talk! What the hell happened here? Tien's apparently on his way here too. Once he arrives, I'll tell you everything. Tell me one thing first. How did you increase your power so much in such a short period of time? It looks like he fused with Kami. That's... All it took? What is it with all these low lives? How dare they attempt to surpass the greatest Super Saiyan in the universe? I can't stand this anymore. Look what you've done, Kakarot. Looks like Tien's here. Good. Here's what's going on. Oh, I see. So, to prevent Cell from achieving his perfect form, we either need to find him and kill him. Or we need to find androids 17 and 18 and kill them. Those are our only options. If you ask me, our best bet is to take Cell out before he acquires too much power. I'm tired of all these pathetic tactics. I say we let him absorb the android. I don't care who I'm up against. I will destroy them! Don't be naive, Vegeta. We could barely handle 17 and 18 ourselves. And Cell's much more powerful than them. You dare underestimate my power? I'll become stronger. I swear I will. I will go beyond Super Saiyan. Beyond Super Saiyan? Is that even possible? Hey, uh... Why don't we just go back to the lab and destroy Cell before he's finished? Good idea. Let's do that. At the very least, we'll create an alternate future where Cell doesn't exist. All right. Krillin and Trunks will go on and head back to the lab. Me and Tien will continue searching around here for the time being. Right. Well, if we come up empty, we'll just head back to Kami House. We can check the news for clues. All right. Let's go, Trunks. Thanks. Go beyond Super Saiyan? Is that even possible? I can't believe I was lucky enough to find this! Well, I might have destroyed Dr. Jerome's lab. Well, Trunks did de <laughs> destroy the Dr. Jerome's lab. Now it's time to destroy his computer, his underground base. So now, without further ado, let's destroy whatever is left of his laboratory. So here we go! Let's go! Huh? I'm 
guessing we can't just go back into the past and scrap the androids there, right? Right. It's likely that anything we do in that timeline won't affect this one. Man, there's no easy way out of this, huh? They look weak. No cross. I'll win. You'll see. Too slow. This is it. And if we're able to destroy the androids and sell here, they're still going to exist in your future. Am I right? Yeah. But if Goku and the others can figure out their weaknesses here, I can go back to my future and defeat them myself. I will stop you! for concern. There's a large rock sticking up there. They look weak. No cause for concern. <laughs> My apologies. I got distracted. Dr. Anyway, back to the mission at hand. Down Here we go! Somewhere. I think this is it. Yeah. So, should we just go ahead and blow it up? Not yet. We should head down there and see what we can find first. We might be able to discover something about how to defeat the androids. Ah, right. Then let's make our way inside. Did it. Right. Now Cell won't be a problem in this timeline. And now we got an ace up our sleeve. Good call saying we should dig around the lab. I didn't think we'd actually be able to find the blueprints for Androids 17 and 18. If we show these to my mother, she should be able to figure out how we can defeat them. True. Actually, would you mind taking this to my mother for me? I have something I need to do. Huh? You're not coming? No. I thought I'd do some training with my father. If he's able to go beyond Super Saiyan, 
Then I should too with proper training. Well, Vegeta's not exactly a team player. He probably won't want to train with you. You may be right, but sparring with someone leads to greater results in a short amount of time. Even my father should know that. It's worth a shot, at least. Right. Sounds like you know what you're doing. Reading you loud and clear. Good luck! Thanks. Then, Trunks sought out his father, Vegeta, while Krillin made his way to Bulma to deliver the blueprints. Impressed and terrified by Dr. Jiro's genius, Bulma searched for the android's weakness. First two, and then three days had passed. Piccolo and the others using Kame House as their base, continued their hunt for Cell, but to no avail. They could do nothing but watch as news of more victims spread. A monster has made its way to a town in South District 48. Half the residents are gone. Hmm. So he's made his way south. Come on! We might still be able to catch him if we leave now. Good luck! That cell creep sure is a force to be reckoned with. Oh, did everyone leave? Go on too? Great so. Go on, please be careful. I hope they're able to find that monster. <sighs> Thanks, Chi-Chi. But once the fight's over, it's straight back to his studies and nothing else, no matter what. And you're going to get a job. You got it. Thank you. All right, time to go. If we approach Cell in this thing, we won't have to worry about him reading our power levels, don't you think? He's a crafty one. Even if we get close, we're still going to have to flush him out. Goku! Yo! How did you get here? Was it that instant transmission thing? Yep. You're back to 100% then? Yeah. But I'm kind of hungry. Hey, Camicolo! <laughs> You don't have to combine our names. I'm mostly Piccolo, so just call me Piccolo. 
I hate to admit it, but I'm not powerful enough right now to take on the androids and that cell guy. But I think I've got an idea. I'm going to take Gohan somewhere we can get a year's worth of training in one day. That's right. The hyperbolic time chamber, of course. Wait. No one has ever been able to last an entire year in there. Even you could barely last a whole month before. But things are different than before. We'll be fine. And don't forget, we can bring Vegeta and Trunks along with us. They'll be able to handle it for sure. Then get a move on. Cell's killing more and more people, and his power's growing every minute. Right. Goku, let me ask you something. Are you afraid we might be up against someone scarier than Frieza? Or are you happy about that? Both. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that you're not giving up. There's that. Go on, let's go. We'll grab Vegeta and Trunks on the way. Okay. Where do you think Vegeta and Trunks are training? Let's see. I'm picking up some energy way over there. I'm guessing it might be them. <laughs> Kamiko, Mo, I can't get over that. Anyway, it's time to find Trunks and Vegeta to, to go to the hyperbolic time bath. Uh, the hypersonic line tamer. The hyper typer. Uh, yeah, that. Anyway, enjoy the rest. Sorry, I forgot what it was called. The hyperbot, hyper, yeah, hyper, the hyperbonic time. <laughs> I can't even say it. My tongue gets twisted. Anyway, enjoy. That's Vegeta's energy. And Trunks! That might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Ah! Goku! So, how's your training going? Not very well. My father's treating me like an obstacle rather than a training partner. He's been like that for three days now. Just standing there. That's Vegeta for you. If I had to guess, I'd say he's probably thinking about how to go beyond Super Saiyan. Don't bother me, Kakarot. Get oh, come on. Don't be like that. I know a great place to train. It's called the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. You can get a year's worth of training there in just one day. It's up at Kami's Lookout. Are you serious? Seriously. Come with us. You don't have to train with me or anything if you don't want to. Just so you know, two people can use the room at once. So to save time, you're going to have to go in with trunks. Fine. But we're going in first. Got it. Sure. I used the room once before when I was a lot younger. It was beyond brutal enough. I could only stay in there for about a month. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. Really? Vegeta's been standing here for three days without any food or water? Eh, that's Vegeta for you. Anyway, on to Kami's lookout and into the hyperbatic Tampala. Sorry, I can't still pronounce it. <laughs> anyway, enjoy. Father, please. Let me train with you this time. So, we'd like to train in the hyperbolic time chamber. 
Is that okay with you? Very well. This way. The room comes equipped with a bath, toilet, bed, and food. Good luck to you. Are you sure you want me to train harder, Kakarot? My end goal is to take you out after all. It's probably gonna take more than one of us to take this enemy down. Go forward knowing that, okay? In the future, you may very well regret this. If it's okay, we'll head in first. Good luck, guys! And play nice! It's so hot. It's kind of hard to breathe, and the increased gravity makes it hard to move. And there's nothing here. It's just empty white space. Good. This is all I need. I... I have to spend a year in here with my father? Hey, you did want to train with me, didn't you? Then let's see what I'm dealing with. Show me what you've got. Huh? Right. Come at me full force. Don't hold back. Okay. Here I go. Ha! Big bang! Don't underestimate me! Touch us, you at your best. Don't make me lie. Don't underestimate me! Don't underestimate me! Is this really your power? I better not find out you're going easy on me just because I'm your father. No, it's not that. No matter who your opponent is, you come at them as if you intend to kill them, understand? You are a member of the proud warrior race of Saiyans. And on top of that, royal blood runs through your veins. My blood! I... I'm not like you, father. <laughs> you coward. You're about to learn that nothing stands in my way. Oh, oh, goody. It looks like I found my next meal. I'm coming for you, Android 17 and 18. Once I gather enough energy from these filthy humans, I will absorb the both of you. <laughs> and then I will finally become the ultimate life form. <laughs> Soon, soon, I will be complete. Almost a full day had passed since Vegeta and Trunks 
had entered the hyperbolic time chamber. The world is gripped with fear as the death toll has now reached several hundreds of thousands. There's no way that we're gonna find him. There's too many places for him to hide, you know? We're running out of time. Cell's powered himself up quite a bit already. Well, we might have to rely on Goku and the others for this. Let's just hope they can go beyond Super Saiyan. Hmm? What? Hey. Cell's fearsome evolution. Damn it. Why did it have to be now? So, is Goku here? He wasn't back at his place. So, we thought he might be hiding here. Just beat it, would you? You're not going to find Goku here. Oh, then tell us where we can find him. Do you honestly think we're just going to tell you? Your choice. You can either tell us, or we can make you. Fine by me. There's a deserted island not too far from here. We'll settle it there. Man, you guys aren't making this easy on yourselves. Sorry, but you're going to stay right here. You'd only be getting in the way. Get If I can manage to just take one of them out. Well, this is a good place to stop right here. Anyway, thanks for watching. I mean, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and a comment down below and tell me what you think. I'm awesome guy 95. I'm saving my progress. And with that in mind, I'll see you next time. In the meantime, I'll be challenging or fighting 17 to save the world, hopefully. And with that in mind, I'll see you next time. In the meantime, stay safe, take care, and peace. Also, tip your, tip your waitresses. <laughs> I keep leaving that part out. Well, I don't. I always don't say that on my outro. Sometimes I say it, sometimes I don't. But anyway, peace. Have a good day.